Guess what's green? Yes, they're building a house next door. That's disturbed a lot of soil, so there's a lot of weeds. And as you can see, in the winter, I just hand pick them. When properties are like this, it's a lot easier just to reach down, make sure you grab it, and pull the root, just like that. Let's do it again. Reach down, grab it, pull the root. Not the grass. See, that's just that's just a weed. Make sure you're pulling just just the weeds. And that's the only thing that's green this time of year right now. Trying to do it organically, don't spray. And uh, that pile will get a lot larger. It's about the size of a basketball right now, guys. And uh, so my tip is, this is Bermuda. You can see the Bermuda starting to brown out. And centipede, the centipede's still kind of green. You can see the difference between the Bermuda and the centipede. And you can see like where the dark greens are. At this time of year, this right here, as I'm pulling it up, this will all come up together. If you just spend the time to do it organically, don't spray your yard with chemicals and pull it. Just like that. Get the roots. And that's how you do it, guys. I know it's a lot of work, but uh, including these broadleaf, see, we got some broadleaf right here. You want to reach down, those have a long tap root. Definitely pull those out. And uh, you guys are probably tired of seeing me pull all these little weeds by hand here. But you can see how fast you can make a little section look really nice. Now, I almost forgot that one right there, but as you can see, I got the, I got the root. You get the root, you won't worry, have to, well, you probably won't have to worry about it coming back next year. Just make sure to, to pull as much as you can, get as much as you can, not the grass people, the actual weeds. There's no shortcuts to doing things right. And uh, this yard would be amazing. Last year it was a it was an empty, it look, last year it looked like that. <laughs> this looked like dirt. And you can see they're doing a construction here. This is a uh, stucco home with a brick facade. This is another stucco home. But this yard will be amazing. The only problem is they disturbed the soil here, spread the weeds all over here. And uh, that's what happens when you when you when you spread it. Still got some green down in this area past the uh, the inflatable spider for Halloween. We're really close to Halloween, guys. The date is uh, only a couple days away. But this is what I wanted to show you. Anything you see green right now is most likely a weed. Feel free to just reach down there grab it make sure you're just getting the weed make sure I'm just getting the weed here and pull it out once you do that spend a little time in, in the cool season making your yard look beautiful in the summer it'll pay off in the spring it'll pay off just make sure you get the weeds and only the weeds I hope this tip helps. I know a lot of people can do it. And uh, but this is the right time of year to be actually looking in your lawn for how bad your weeds are and uh, adjusting that and changing that so that your grass can be as lovely as that. You can't see the Bermuda, that's how green it is right now in this section because it's starting to change. And this crabgrass that you see in here, I just pulled it out also by the weed. And I'll do this whole little lawn. This lawn's not very big. So, let's keep adding to my little weed pile here. And uh, I have some organic ways to take care of it. Next year, I'll be uh, top dressing this with compost. And that'll, that'll balance out the soil a little bit, make it a little unfriendly for the, uh, for the weeds. And a little better suited for the grass that likes to grow here. So, just thought I would share. Hope you guys enjoy. And uh, as always, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you coming and watching the videos. If you like this video, please leave a like. And uh, stay tuned. I've got a bunch of great videos. I'm going to share a bunch of master gardener tips, a bunch of lawn care tips. Some stuff that I haven't seen on the, on the internet. Hopefully. I mean, <laughs> this video is just basically, I know people are going to laugh and say, oh, he's just picking hand-picking weeds. We can do that. Well, it's the timing, guys. It's winter. 
not everything's green right now. Things are starting to, uh, if you're on, in a southern, <laughs> I should stress that. If you're in a, uh, a southern hemisphere of the United States or the planet and uh, you have grass growing right now and it's starting to go dormant, now is the time to look and see the difference in the transition when the grass is starting to turn brown and the weeds are still green. They're still thriving because this is, this is a weed season, <laughs> as I like to put it. So I hope this, uh, hope this helps. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Hell yeah. Gotta love my green hands. I'm picking weeds. Get out and get dirty, guys. Enjoy.